Hello, uh, I'd like to welcome all of you out there to the second lecture in Professor Alexander Dugan from Moscow State University's lecture series. Um, this is the second lecture in the series on ethnosociology, and this lecture will focus on um, the study of ethnosociology as a science and the four main schools of uh, uh, ethno-related anthropology. French, German, American, and English, correct? Um, and so uh, without further ado, uh, I will uh, invite uh, you to enjoy the first hour of the lecture. So when I can do the car, uh, course on ethnosociology, uh, to begin with, uh, the most important school of ethnosociology is German one. Uh, so, first of all, uh, the term itself, ethnosociology, was introduced at the very early stage of development of sociology as a science by one of the first generation sociologists namely Ludwig Gumplowitz. Gumplowitz uh, was German-speaking uh, scientist, so it, he could be considered to be also the part of the German uh, sociological tradition. So uh, he was first to introduce the term of ethno-sociology, uh, and uh, the concept was uh, accepted uh, in German-speaking circles, scientific circles, but in the other country, the same discipline, the same um, field of researches uh, ha has received the different names. In the United States, the same exactly the same uh, discipline was called cultural anthropology in the England the social anthropology and in France there was the mix confusion between concept of structural anthropology of Levi-Strauss or ethnology so we are dealing with one and the same discipline in German audience it is fixed as ethnosociology so in Russian we also use the same term ethnosociology ethnosociology but to understand what is it we need to make translation from country to country from one scientific academic tradition to the other uh, these uh, fields are exactly the same, but they have historically different names. So, to begin with, mm, the first mm, uh, um, philosopher that uh, has given great attention to the plurality of the ethnic society was German philosopher, philosopher Johann Gottfried Herder. And uh, he mm, first uh, in the history proposed the idea that structure of the language determines the structure of the thinking. And the structure of the thinking um, uh, determines the structure of society. And if we have different languages, so we have different cultures, and we have different society. And to mm, exprime mm, this idea uh, in a poetic manner, Herder declared that the peoples are the thoughts of God. So they, it's very important scientific metaphor, because can exist among 
the thoughts of gods, some thoughts they are better than the other. It's quite impossible because all thoughts of God are equal and, and equality. All uh, thoughts of God are divine. So we could not make um, difference, uh, difference of the hierarchical order between the thoughts of God. So that is a very important manner to understand diver diversity of the people and the cultures. Diversity that is a kind of richness, but diversity that excludes the possibility to make the comparison. Some people or some culture is higher than other. They are different, yes. They are completely different. But they are not hierarchically uh, comparable between them. So it is a, a kind of most important attitude, the, mm, the, the law of ethno sociology is diversity of the structure and the people without hierarchy. So diversity that give us not the possibility, don't, doesn't give us the possibility to make comparison. So it was uh, the idea of Herder to regard, to consider the history as a dialogue of the peoples of the society, a kind of everlasting dialogue without any definite end or goal, everlasting dialogue of, of the different entities. Uh, they, uh, the dialogue could be positive, negative. It includes the peace and the war. Uh, mutual understanding, exchange of ideas, but it's always, always the dialogue or polylogue. So, um, Herder uh, considered ethnic diversity as primordial fact. So, we are dealing with men as ethnically uh, defined being. So, we could not imagine the man without language, without culture, without ethnical identity. Man is ethnical phenomenon. And uh, it is not only ethnical. There could be something more in it. But in the roots, any society, uh, any human being is primordially, primordially ethnic. So it is a starting point for uh, ethnic uh, ethnosociology, and this is a most important principle, diversity without hierarchy. The development of the Herder concept, uh, he was uh, mm, the enemy of Kant, for example, because Kant, Immanuel Kant, affirmed that um, any society uh, is, uh, strives to be more and more rational, and rationality is universal. So any, uh, any diversity of the society or ethnic culture is due to uh, the distance from this concrete state to the common universal ideal of um, one and the same rationality that is uh, uh, obligatory for any kind of society. It is, was Kantian enlight, uh, Enlightenment uh, concept. But Herder was a uh, partisan of completely different vision, more, um, more clo uh, 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 close one to the Rousseau's concept of the good savage. Good savage, so uh, the, um, the civilization is not the destiny, it's the possibility. of, uh, And uh, we could also imagine mm, positive and uh, important and um, spiritually 
uh, loaded society in, uh, among the primitive, uh, primitive peoples. So uh, that was a Herderian concept of uh, ethnos. There was the other concept of German philosopher Johann Gottlieb Fichte, who was Kantian and uh, who uh, considered the people to be the, um, the bearer of uh, the um, subject, of philosophical uh, subject. So it was a kind of nation uh, instead of ethnos that um, Fichte uh, was dealing with. So it is Kantian version of primordiality of the nation. So it is different from um, Herder, but also Fichte is considered to be one of the father of ethnosociology because he has linked uh, society, historical society in na national uh, stage with a kind of idea or a kind of uh, particular form of national rationality or a kind of a subject. The other f main figure in the uh, German tradition of ethnosociology uh, was Johann Jakob Bachofen. Bachofen, uh, who ha uh, has developed the idea of primordial matriarch, uh, matriarch uh, here. Uh, so it a uh, matriarchat. Uh, according to the Bachofen, the patriarch, uh, patriarchat was introduced as a kind of historical uh, form of uh, society after uh, existence of long ages of uh, the rule of the women over the men and uh, he considered um, this gender issue and the culture as key concept to interpret uh, the society so he understood the society in the gender of, uh, uh, as a gender question and also with this instrument he uh, studied different kind of historical society. So eth uh, ethnic aspect was mm, mixed uh, in the, con uh, in the th theories of Johann uh, Jakob Bachofen with gender issue. So all uh, kind of societies were initially uh, ruled by women and after that, there was, a, uh, there was a kind of men's revolution, and that is the key to uh, correctly interpret, interpret um, ethnic history, because there are in the uh, rites, in the legends, in the myths, uh, different um, rests of uh, early stages of uh, human development, more or uh, less linked uh, where's uh, matriarchy? So, the other important uh, author of tradition uh, of early German ethno-sociology was Adolf Bastian. Adolf Bastian uh, affirmed that uh, in his most important work, The Man in the History, uh, he uh, argued, argued that uh, any kind of society follows the same, uh, the same um, path in, uh, in the history. So the man uh, possesses uh, the common uh, common form of thoughts. They are uh, more or less developed in one society or another. So he explained, Adolf Bastian explained the differences between the culture, the peoples and ethnic groups by the fact of uh, 
the speed to develop uh, and possibility possibilities, historic, uh, historical possibilities to develop uh, the, sum, the same uh, mental codes of, uh, of the man. So the man is unique and differences are uh, due to uh, as a kind of they are a kind of obstacles on this uh, on this path uh, path so uh, a very important moment is geographical environment that could facilitate the development of this universal universal complex or uh, on the contrary, uh, to be a kind of obstacle to that. So it is parallel vision of understanding of ethnos and its ontology. In by the Herder, we uh, we see that ethnos is considered to be something unique and incomparable. There is not any. Uh, not such thing as universal type to which ethnic societies should strive or should uh, progress. And the concept of Adolf Bastian is universalist one and insists of unity uh, of humankind in general. So we have here two limits of German ethno-sociology. One tradition, the tradition of Herder, insists on the pluralism, primordial plurality of the people and ethnic groups that will not be overcome by any future kind of social organization. So ethnos is eternal, and differences in the humankind could not be eradicated fully. So ethnos is primordial and eternal uh, state of uh, the society. And that is why Herder called the people the thoughts of God. And the other limit, the other tradition, uh, universalist one, but also dealing with ethnic groups, ethnic particularity, ethnic tradition, and codes. So, uh, in the line of the Herder uh, was a very important German writer Friedrich Ratzel, uh, who has, um, who is considered to be the father of political geography and anthropogeography. Uh, Ratzel thought, uh, uh, thought that um, uh, there is uh, a very strong ties between the society and the nature and the landscape. So he has created theoretical theoretical basis for the geopolitics as a science. Uh, he introduced the idea of uh, the law of the special growth of the state and the idea of Lebensraum, uh, the, the space for living. It was misinterpreted after that. Uh, what is interesting that Lebensraum, the space for living, was not considered the space for this or other people to live in. It was considered as a kind of living entity, the space as living entity that uh, could develop and could dictate to the society some cultural important and crucial features. And after that, in the German tradition and political sense, it was misinterpreted as uh, purely pragmatic space to people to live in. Lebens, uh, live, living space, it was, was not considered by Ratzel as space to live, but the space that lives 
It's very important point in his organistic uh, tradition. Uh, Ratzel drew attention to the value of sociological factor of space as development of this concept of living being, space as, li as living being. He introduced the important concept of special sense, Raumzin. So the space is uh, something that uh, has a sense, that makes a sense also, uh, literally. Uh, what is produced in one point of the space and what is, uh, what, uh, is produced uh, on the, in the other point uh, of the space. Uh, being similar, uh, never are equal, Id identical, because uh, the space uh, does uh, really mean, the space does matter. It's an important uh, concept of uh, Russell. He uh, also proposed the theory, the, ba the basis of the theory of cultural circles. Kulturkreisen in German, uh, arguing that all mat the material, technical, and cultural discoveries in the history were made in only one place and by unique people and then distributed, uh, distributed to the other people by the transfer. So the concept of uniqueness of any invention, uh, it, 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 that does not mean that only one people could invent different peoples invented, but it was once, once for all. One, some ethnic group uh, invented, uh, for, for example, uh, the spear or kind of a weapon or technology uh, of, um, of uh, process the metals. And after that, that was, uh, that was transferred to the other people, but some other uh, people could invent different uh, different uh, things and also distribute and transfer it to the other. But what, what is important it was completely anti-Bastian concept that the uh, peoples and the ethnic groups are geographically uh, determined and not universal. So the history is the chain of concrete events, ethnically and geographically um, determined. It is something other than uh, the movement to the one universal goal of uh, the same, the same uh, type of, of living being that is standing to the same goal, but with different speed. Because uh, the approach of Bastian could uh, impose the idea of comparison that these people or this society is closer to the goal, to the universal kind than the other. So there is hierarchy. The progressive people and uh, the people in delay, the people more developed and the people who are primitive or savage. So there is a possibility to compare the society because there is one universal type in the future, for example. Future uh, already already realized in the Western society because it's kind of ethnocentric um, approach. But uh, Ratzel or uh, Herder uh, thought otherwise. They thought that uh, it is impossible to define the direction of development of all the humankind, of the humanity. So it is a kind of um, mm, historical choice to go to one goal for one society or to the other. And the difference between mm, uh, them, between the society, ethnic cultures and states and religions uh, is, not, uh, is not due only to the negative uh, 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 conditions, to, uh, uh, could not be considered as 
uh, obstacles, only as obstacles, but also there are options and the results of some free historical choice. The other, uh, the development of the Ratzel's idea uh, found their um, uh, found, uh, found their um, final form in the concept of cultural circles, Kulturkreise theory, by Robert Grebner, uh, Wilhelm Schmidt, uh, and Leo Frobenius. Three German uh, ethno-sociologists, uh, Grebner, Schmidt, uh, and Leo, Leo Frobenius, uh, they mm, uh, investigated many um, archaic cultures to uh, defend and uh, to find the arguments uh, in favor of the concept of uniqueness of uh, invention. So their school, this school of uh, uh, cultural circles uh, was mainly occupied by uh, necessity to, uh, to prove the uh, relevance of uh, this uh, um, historical approach to um, the inventions and, and uh, particularity and uniqueness of um, every one. So uh, there is uh, among them, uh, I would stress the concepts and the theories of Leo Frobenius, very important uh, ethno sociologist, uh, ethno sociologist, uh, who uh, introduced the concept of two major types of the society. One type of the society uh, he called ktonic society and the other telluric telluric society ktonic uh, telluric society is a kind uh, of culture maybe primitive and archaic that is dealing with uh, the convex structures poles uh, mounds uh, stones used for funerals housing or conduct magic ceremonies. The, mm, mm, uh, this uh, mound, the culture of mounds, is a sign of active, offensive, co complex and patriarchal type of society for Probenius. It is a kind of convex culture. And um, uh, there was the another type of society, ktonic culture, um, that is culture, by contrast, uh, that is characterized by structures in the form of pits, of dugouts, holes, caves, used uh, also for the same proposal uh, as in a kind of telluric um, sacred places for uh, funerals also, but uh, to bury in uh, the holes and the tombs. Uh, and uh, for the sacred and religious ceremonies uh, in the caves. So, uh, this um, typology has nothing to do with development or uh, primitiveness of the culture, because there are two directions. One of, the, uh, of, of, of them is patriarchal and active, aggressive, telluric one, telluric culture, and the other more passive, more um, feminine, uh, feminine uh, uh, and so on. It, it, is, uh, it has nothing to do with the progress, because there could not be progress from uh, telluric to the tonic or from the tonic to the telluric. There are two types, two types that could coexist, could mix overlap, and so on. That is very... Uh, 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 very important um, attitude that is completely um, embedded uh, in the 
uh, operation of ethnosociology. So study the cultures, study the ethnic groups without pronouncing which is more developed, more, more modern, more, more progressive. Uh, so there is the other concept of Frobenius that's very important is the com concept of paideuma. The word, word is Greek, paideuma. It is a kind of, of education or, or self-education. Ed it is a kind of the center of cultural code that is transmitted by the generations, paideuma. It is not only um, education in our sense when there are institutions that are, are um, used as a, a formal formal uh, center of education the education as by Deuma could be without any kind of formal institutions it could uh, be transmitted by uh, the family by the society by the customs or by the uh, uh, sacred rites uh, and, and, and so on. So it is a kind of something that is more, mm, uh, less formal than institution. It is a kind of the cultural code that is transmitted through the ages in one, uh, the same society and that mm, determines the qualitative uh, image of this society that uh, I, uh, that uh, is transmitted identity of this uh, or that society so that pi paideuma according to the probenius is uh, has um, has three stages first uh, in german uh, it sounds as ergriffenheit ausdruck and anwendung. Uh, three technical terms of uh, Frobenius ethnosociological uh, theory uh, that paideuma is formed by um, the act or the moment of the spontaneous possession of the group by some primordial power. So at a kind of uh, when s someone is struck by feeling or, or by thing, uh, th that is a kind of the feeling of the sacred, sacredness of the world, sac sacredness of, of, of some object, sacredness of the state. So it is a kind, uh, it's completely irrational, but it affects the community or the society and form the core the first moment of, uh, of uh, the paideuma and predefines in such a way a um, cultural code, paideuma. After there, that, that second stage is expression of the possessing force uh, in the form of the myths, rites, legends, practices. And uh, here, this force, unnamed, in the first stage uh, acquires the name so it is called god or diamond or spirit or mm, fathers or uh, elders so it acquires a kind of mm, uh, expression so it is second uh, second stage and the third stage of paideoma is application and when do application to the technical sphere so starting from this sacredness we come to the technic uh, aspect of the society so it is a model to describe the ethnic groups for Frobenius so first of all we should define is it telluric or uh, tonic for example American culture is mostly telluric one is uh, manly is active is aggressive is optimistic uh, Russian culture is uh, mostly ketonic one uh, there is more feminine uh, there is, uh, the uh, Russian culture is more defensive uh, Russian spirituality is more contemplative than active so we could also apply 
the theory of Rebenius to study not only primitive society, where it is also very clear, for example, in Africa, that was the main field of the study and the researchers of Frobenius himself. Uh, so uh, we could also apply that to the very sophisticated uh, societies also, because it works also uh, in, the, in the situation of complex society. So, and also, it is first kind of uh, Typology, uh, the, um, ty uh, definition uh, of type of concrete society, but after that we could also study the paideuma of the society. By what in the first historical moment of such or such ethnic group or society it was struck? What was uh, the first moment of uh, its astonishment? Uh, in front of the being. So, uh, Greek uh, culture wa was struck by Logos, by the experience of, of the bold uh, of, of the Logos. So, they, there are different uh, cultures, they were struck or amazed by something other, but it uh, uh, needs to be defined in any concrete case. So, it is kind of Frobenius methodology. The other uh, person uh, that is very important to the ethnosociology is Ludwig Gumplowicz. I have uh, um, already mentioned uh, him. Uh, his idea was the concept of um, the society as a result of superposition or overlay or overlapping. So any society, uh, any state or complex society consists from two parts, from that two parts that have different ethnic roots. So the concept uh, of the elite and the mass developed after that by Pareta, uh, we could also find uh, by Gumplovit, who insisted that any state or any hierarchical society was formed initially uh, as a result of the struggle of the ethnic group. So one of these group become elite conquerors and the other become mass. mass. Uh, that, that, is, uh, that was submitted by conquerors. So it was origin of the state. And what is important is to follow with uh, Gumplowitz the roots and the sources of the uh, social differentiation. So social, difference, uh, social differentiation of any complex society is, is due, according to Gumplowitz, to first inter-ethnical struggle act. He was uh, opponent of Karl Marx. Karl Marx tried to explain all the history by class income, by the struggle of the classes, and uh, Gumplowitz ex tried to explain all the history as Rassenkamp, uh, as a, a, a struggle between the ethnic group, because for him he was not racist, he was Jew and liberal and his uh, uh, ideas, uh, but uh, and uh, pr prosecuted by anti-Semitic uh, tendencies uh, in, in Poland. So he uh, had nothing to do with racism. He was not racist. But uh, the word Rasse, Rasse, German word, he used in the sense of ethnic, of ethnic heterogeneity of the, uh, of the first stage of the creation of the state. Nothing, nothing more. So uh, his ideas were developed by Franz Oppenheimer uh, that uh, continued to affirm the idea of the state as a result of the ethnic conquest and that was also fixed 
in the differences of the culture of the elites and the masses. So Oppenheimer uh, also um, developed this uh, idea of superposition as the first basic act of creation of a uh, complex society and the origin of the state. The same idea uh, was developed by Alexander, uh, Alexander Rust um, that uh, regard nomads and peasants as two fundamental types. Uh, nomads were conquerors, that was social society or ethnic groups of conqueror, as Gumbloyds and Oppenheimer also um, show, and peasants uh, were, uh, in the majority of the historical case, uh, conquested group of the population. So uh, for um, Alexander uh, Rust, it was a kind of um, psychological inclination. So uh, any aggressive elitist uh, groups in the society were nomads and any passive were peasants. So th there are two psychological types. In history that was explicit and in the modern society the same Co correspondence is implicit. So it, is, uh, it was his idea of Rust. And he was also liberal, German liberal. He was uh, um, against, uh, he was anti um, Nazi, and he affirmed that uh, Third Reich war was, uh, was constructed by nomads, uh, psychologically nomads. So, Max Weber, German uh, sociologist that uh, proposed uh, the definition of what is ethnos in the sociological um, science, I could repeat it, et et ethnicity or ethnos is human uh, groups that share a subjective belief in common origin in virtue of the similarity of the physical type or of customs and sometimes both or by the memory of the general and uh, common colonization or migration. This belief can be extremely important for the formation of the group. It does not matter whether this is objective related by blood or not. So it is also the belief what is important uh, in the definition of the ethnos. I have spoken already about it in the first lecture. So, uh, for um, Weber also considered um, that universalism is a proper, is good parade, paradigm uh, to uh, regard the development of uh, historical society, but uh, ethnos is a kind of first stage of this historical and social development where uh, th the beliefs of the group, of ethnic group, are particular and not universal. So after that we come to the most um, sophisticated kind of society. So for Weber, the ethnos uh, were not the main object of his studies because he was um, uh, mostly, uh, um, mostly attracted by uh, the study of modern society, actual society. But the other very important German sociologist, Ferdinand Tönnies, uh, has proposed that there are two kinds of society, the society and the community. So the society is Gesellschaft in German, and the community is Gemeinschaft. There are two terms. F uh, society, as also as well in the Latin, uh, means that something associated, something that is uh, fragmented, that is um, individual, and after that is uh, aggregated. So society is aggregation of the individuals. So it is idea or of the society by turnus. But what is community? Community is not aggregation. 
at some organic unity that precedes individualization. So in, this, in the community, the whole just first, and after that, parts. In the society, the, past, the parts go first, and after that, there is mechanically created agglomeration as a society. So two sociological terms. Uh, uh, modernity and the modern, uh, modern kind of society is always society in the strict sense. So it is Gesellschaft, is something associated, something created artificially, mechanically, aggreg uh, aggregation. And there is community, the community that is something natural, organic. And that was mostly the core of pre-modern organization of of the life. Uh, so, uh, for in these terms, what is ethnos? Ethnos is the community, and not the society. It is uh, very important to understand ethnos sociologically. Uh, so, Werner Zombart, uh, the other the third great German sociologist uh, was Tannis uh, and uh, Weber. They were friends and they, uh, at the same time, they um, didn't have the same um, ideological uh, uh, visions. So they were very different. Uh, and Werner Zombard um, insisted uh, that there are two kinds of society, heroic society and um, the society of merchants, merchants, market society. So two type uh, with uh, domination of two different um, concept of men. The heroic one that was a kind of traditional, traditional society, religious, uh, and uh, merchant, uh, merchant society is a kind of uh, um, modern capitalist uh, society. They, are, uh, they represent different types. So what is important in, Zom in Zombard? That for him, heroic society that belongs to the past was preferable than a merchant society that belongs to the uh, present. So, it is very important because for the Zomber, that is the question of the choice and not of the fatality. To, be, to create or construct heroic society or defend the heroic society was the result, or is or can be, the result of the free choice and not of destiny. So, we, we see in the Western society this heroic type uh, is exchanged uh, it is changed uh, in the favor of um, capitalist society. Uh, that is a kind of historic uh, truth. But for Zomber, it is not fatality. It is result of the decision, of some kind of social decision. So we could also, if we continue to develop his idea, we could uh, choose between types of society. We are not obliged to accept existing society as a uh, moment of uh, universal uh, movement that is unique, uh, one and the same for all types of society. It's also relativistic attitude that is very important to the field of ethno-sociology that is pluralistic and relativistic. The other very important, uh, important representative of uh, organi organic uh, vision of the people as a thought of God uh, in the Herderian tradition was Moris Lazarus, German, uh, Jewish German um, uh, author that um, uh, developed the concept of Volker psychology. The, uh, psychology, uh, the psychology of the peoples. So, different ethnic groups 
uh, uh, have different psychologists and the study, comparative study of different ethno psychology was the, 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 the main, uh, main goal of Maurice Lazarus. Uh, he, uh, uh, he insisted, for example, he was one of the activists of the Zionist, Zionist uh, movement and uh, um, insisting on the relativism of the kind of cultural values, he also defended the particularity, particularity of Jewish people. So, and ex he explained uh, by national spirit and the diversity of the national spirits, the possibility to Jews to create and defend their proper identity. That is corresponded, that didn't correspond exactly to the identity of European people uh, with whom Jews traditionally lived. So that was also for this uh, defense of uh, plurality of the cultures and cultural code uh, was for Lazarus a very important point of his ideological science uh, struggle. The other, mm, the other uh, two, mm, two, two mm, very important uh, uh, authors that we uh, should mention here that developed also ethno psychologic uh, psychologist attitude to the, uh, uh, to the history and to the so study of society. Uh, it is great uh, German psychologist Wilhelm Wundt, Wundt one of the founder of the psychology general, uh, who has dedicated the last works of his life uh, to describe psychology of the peoples. So it is less known part of his heritage of uh, Wilhelm Wundt. And also the other, uh, other author, Alfred Firkand, uh, that uh, dedicated his um, researches to the, uh, to the study or the phenomenology of the ethnicity. Here we could also mention Sigmund Freud. Uh, Sigmund Freud. Uh, he is uh, the father of psychoanalysis, but uh, also some concept of Freud could uh, be applied to the study of primordial heart, heart primordial heart to the primitive vision of a primitive um, group that could be considered as something ethnic. So contributions of the Freud to the study of primitive society and his um, special kind of uh, understanding uh, in, in the context of his psychoanalytical doctrine could also uh, be um, useful studying ethnical patterns or ethnical cultural codes. So uh, Carl Gustav Jung, one of his uh, disciples, uh, uh, introduced the concept of collective unconsciousness that also could serve as an instrument to study particular the particular ethnic collective. But now we come to central figure in the ethnosociology is uh, Richard Thurnwald, Turnwald, Richard Turnwald, who, systema, who made the systematization of ethnosociological um, knowledge, developing uh, all the intuition of the previous authors. So he has written uh, the book uh, that is called uh, um, human society. It is very important. Uh, mm, there are five volumes, uh, very big volumes. Uh, all this, um, uh, all this work is dedicating to show how uh, first uh, type of uh, most primitive society 
uh, uh, organized. And so the, the main importance of uh, Turmwald uh, that also introduced and insisted on the word ethno-sociology, uh, that was uh, 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 understanding of ethnos as a kind of most, uh, 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 the simplest kind of society. So ethnic society is uh, a primitive society, the society based on common identity, on organic unity that precedes apparition of the individual. So, uh, and studying these stages of society, um, Turnwald insisted that we are dealing with human. So, this kind of primitive society are not only the stages of the way, of the path to the modern, complicated, developed society. So there is a kind of implicit racism in the concept of evolution, concept of progress, because we consider to be fully human the people that, the men that belong to the modern society. And we consider the primitive people as a semi-human, half-human, they, that the people who, on way, uh, who were only on the way to the humanity. I said, uh, and that is the, uh, the, the very crucial point for all ethnosociology. Ethnosociology and the name of the most central um, work of Richard Turnwald um, stresses it. Um, uh, that any primitive society also is human society and it is a part of humanity and th it is not only negative stage to the humanity, it is full humanity. Uh, so we could and should not judge uh, the primitive society or simple society as something incomplete, as something on the way to the humanity. It is also the human society, but it is other humanity. It is human in other aspect of its living. It is other, the figure of the other, very important. And uh, the name of this work, uh, human society in its ethno-sociological foundations, that is the full name of the main work of uh, Turnwald, is very important is a kind of program of all ethno sociology. So ethno sociology studies ethnos as human phenomena. So men could be human in the sense of modernity, as a member of society, as individual, as Western or Westernized, but not Western, not modern, not member of society, not individual, is also human, human being different and not necessary this human being should be turned in the uh, turn in in the uh, in the modernity modernization is option westernization is a choice progress is a kind of one of uh, 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 of human possibility among other it's very uh, important in the post-modernist attitude, this, but we see the same and very in, the mental, in a very fundamental way uh, it is uh, explained in the ethno-sociological uh, um, authors. And um, uh, for them, um, Richard Turwald, uh, this was most important humanist task to prove that any kind of society, and including not modern society and primitive society, are human. And we need to understand these, these societies differently than we are, uh, than we do currently. So we need to rediscover the human 
uh, being, uh, the, the sense of the man. Because if these society, they are completely different, and they are based on completely different principles, uh, they are human, so we need to enlarge our concept of what is human. And uh, the, the, the last figure in this German tradition of ethno sociology is Wilhelm Müllmann, the disciple of uh, uh, Richard Turnweit, uh, who also uh, developed uh, the concept of, of um, uh, ethnos as simple society, also stressing the point that ethnical appurtenance is not biological one uh, they, uh, to be the part of the ethnos is uh, in no way uh, the result of biological or racial uh, uh, racial fact it is a kind ethnos is cultural community is a kind of simplest simplest uh, community uh, and always there are uh, possibility to enter in the ethnos or quit ethnos. So it is nothing to do with biology. It's absolutely social and cultural phenomenon. It is very important, it is most important um, point of uh, Wilhelm Müllmann ethnosociological uh, attitude. So, uh, to, uh, uh, as conclusion of uh, this first part of um, the sources of ethno-sociological knowledge, I uh, would stress uh, this uh, point that mm, the feature, most important feature of this uh, ethno-sociological approach uh, is idea of the plurality of the society, the plurality of the human phenomenon, the um, mm, uh, discover uh, of, uh, of the possibility to be other and to rest human. So we need to deal with the primitive society or ethnic society or communities uh, differently than we are dealing with the uh, modern of Western type uh, highly complicated and sophisticated society, but we are in the real of the human and recognize the human being of different society as human, as different, but human is the main goal of ethno-sociology. And that is also its uh, humanistic uh, program.